This chicken tractor is based off of Joe Salatin's chicken tractors, just at a smaller scale. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you where you can get these plans for free. I'm ripping down the two by fours right down the middle, which makes it one and three quarters by one and three quarters. And I'm using treated two by fours to make the structure last longer. After I cut the two by fours and cut everything to length, I am drilling, gluing, and screwing together. It's kind of like the Ikea of chicken tractors. Cut the ends at a 45 degree angle because we're gonna be dragging this along the ground. Then I'm using half inch hardware cloth along the sides and using my narrow crown stapler to hold it all in place. I first stapled on the hardware cloth on each of the four sides before I put it together. And then after that, I screwed each side together and I just put them together and just screwed them in the corners. Now I did not glue this part uh, because I wanted to be able to take it apart if I needed to. Now this hardware cloth is 24 inches wide. I based the height of the chicken tractor off of that because when you're working with hardware cloth, it's important to not make many cuts on it. So the less cuts, the better. This top piece is gonna be like a door. It's gonna have hinges on it. And I built it pretty much the same way as I did the structure. And then here I had some chicken wire, not hardware cloth, uh, because I just had some extra of this and then uh, I'm stapling this to the top. Now for the top and the sides, I'm using white plastic corrugated material you could also use metal but i figured the plastic would be better to reflect the sun if it gets too hot plus it makes the whole structure a little bit lighter than using the metal for the plastic i used three eight foot pieces to make this one chicken tractor This project costs about a hundred bucks, but if you have scrap material, that can easily bring the cost down. And then I'm putting a door on this because I'm letting the meat chickens roam around. So I plan on opening this every single day to let them free range. My plan with this chicken tractor is that I'm gonna raise 15 in here, I'm gonna put a electric netting around them, and then I'm gonna let them free range so I don't have to move this every single day. I'm gonna build another one and raise another 15, so 30 at the same time. I also added some rope on this side so that way we can unhook the other side, hook it up on this side, and then pull it this way 
so that way we don't have to turn it around we could just go forward and then when we want to go the other way just push it back that way and then move it over on this side so that way we can start running the chickens right next to it I added a hook on this side for a lock and then on this side because it opens up you can open it up all the way or add a 2x4 to prop it up but you can hold that up for more shade for the chickens if you let them out of the coop and let them roam around they can have that to kind of hang out in I added this piece here to kind of give more protection for the door to lean up against and then I added some metal corner brackets on each corner down there on all four sides to make it more sturdy. To get free plans of this build, check out our Patreon link down below in the show notes. There you'll have the opportunity to sign up to our Patreon community page. And if you sign up, you'll have access to more builds that I've done on our homestead. I appreciate you guys watching. My name is Jason from Sow the Land, and I have another one of these to build. I better get on it. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.